What's up everybody? Welcome to Charleston Car Videos. So today's video is a special one. It's the 2016 BMW i3 electric vehicle. Pretty unique vehicle. Today's video is not going to be too long, but long enough to learn a little bit about it and have some information on it. And it will abruptly end in just a second here and go straight into the interior of this car that Ted is driving. So uh, anyways, wanted to get some good footage of it on the channel. So that's what we're doing today. You know, again, it's an electric car. Got a one gallon gas tank in there with a generator. And I do believe that this, like the Tesla vehicles, is somewhat the future of the automotive industry with electric cars. And we're going to be seeing them a lot more over the next decade or so. So enjoy this next video and hopefully you'll learn something like I did. See the brakes. Okay, so it it, uh, it stops itself. How, how, now, how did it know to stop before we? It's just well, I've got to time it down pretty good. Okay. I've got this one idea where if I'm running 60 and I know uh -huh. the stop signs come up, I know when to get off of it. Wow. It pretty much just coast right up to it. Well, it does that all the time. Yeah. Okay, so you let off and it it, it will start, start it, stop it on its own. If you're not accelerating, you want to decelerate. Oh, I got you. Okay. What I want to show you. Yeah. Is that speedometer? This is cool. So again, this is what year is this one? It's 16. a 2016 BMW i3. i3. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm gonna get straight here. All right. Look at your speed up. See what speed we got. Yeah, we're we're yeah we're holy moly. Oh, it picks up quick. Oh, wow. 16. That's that's fast. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, electric cars, I get, and you don't feel any shifting of gears. And nothing shifts. You don't have to build RPM, so whenever you punch it, it's instant. Oh, wow. Okay. That feels great. And then you get off of it and uh -huh. it slows itself down. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Man, this is cool. And the battery, no, yeah. it doesn't use any more battery to go slow than it does to go fast. Okay. That's interesting. Now I'm noting like the material in here. Like a carbon fiber. Yeah, it's different, yeah. Wow. So you're just saying no more, it does not use any more power out of the batteries to go fast or slow. You're going 20 or 80. Yeah. It doesn't oh wow, we just got updated too quickly. I mean that's oh, okay. That was quick. Oh, yeah. That wasn't a highway patrolman. <laughs> it, was the right, it was the right kind of car. Yeah, we're good. He's got Carmax on the back. Yeah. That's neat. Pretty roomy too, a lot of headroom. Seems like, yeah, a good amount of headroom in here. And, um, now what is that sound we're hearing right now? Is that telling oh, us? not your seatbelt on. Seat, oh, yeah. <laughs> of course, <laughs> I don't have my seatbelt. We'll be all right. okay, we're back to the dealer. <laughs> oh, that's neat. Wow, the power is really uh, strong. When we got it, Chad, my wife got an email from BMW, uh -huh. and I said, get it. Yeah. I didn't ask what color. I'd never seen one. I didn't mm -hmm. ask what color it was, what equipment it had, nothing. Yeah, you just that, you wanted for one. that price for the price that we got it for. Uh huh. Did I tell you what we? No, you didn't. Know. It's a forty-eight thousand dollar car. Uh huh. BMW does silly things for their employees. Uh huh. It's a two-year lease, twelve thousand miles a year. Yeah. No money out of pocket. I pay ninety-six dollars a month. What? And no gas. Your wife works for BMW. Yeah. And. Ninety-six dollars a month. I bet. Oh, it's a forty-eight thousand dollar car. That is cool. Oh, we got to get out and look at this thing. Yeah, maybe Ted. While we're out here, maybe you you do you mind popping the hood or show me where the I, stuff's I, at? Yeah. I don't know if I've ever opened the hood. <laughs> Let's look around, folks. Well, this is a, this is a treat today. Uh, Ted's works here at Ravenel Ford, and he has a BMW electric car. So this is kind of interesting. First time looking at one. Really cool little car here. Well, as y'all saw on the drive just now, it, it really picks up quick. So there, there's no engine under here, right. folks. This is uh, storage. Yeah, Ted's even got some leaves for us. <laughs> this is uh -huh. where the charger stays, but I use it every day, so I keep yeah. it in the garage. I did have to buy a high average extension cord. It cost me $22. Okay. At a charging station, you can charge it from dead to full in about three hours. 
at the house on a normal 110, it takes about eight hours. Okay. Best I can tell, it uses an extra $10 to $12 worth of electricity mm -hmm. per month. Now, so when you get home and you want to charge it up, where does that happen? How does that happen? I plug it. It just plugs it into the wall? Yeah. Okay. Just a normal 110. Just a normal 110? You go in here. And okay. The other end of it goes into 110. That's it. That's it. Okay, plug that and then it goes into the wall. That's it. Yeah. Is there any, have you found charging stations in Charleston? There's a bunch of them. Really? Yeah, there's a bunch of them. There's some over the Tanger Outlet. There's several of them downtown. There are not tons, but yeah. there are probably a dozen around town. Cool. All right, let's walk around and take a look at this thing real quick. Wheels are pretty big on here, aren't they? So 19. That's a 19-inch rim there. Very, uh, it's got its own look to it, that's for sure. It's a big, flat kind of wheel which looks different um, five spoke as you can see and then your tires are a 275 60 r19 right there now the ch funny, check out this yeah the funny thing look how narrow the tires are yeah that's how i know I was, a 175 yeah, i was real surprised that it still handles well like a bmw huh so it still was, handles yeah, great yeah it was great now doors open up so you kind of like a suicide door right exactly. here mm -hmm. to get into the back and then um yeah, you know, the, the material, I was thinking more of like an earth-friendly, kind of eco-friendly type material or something right there. I'm not exactly sure what it is, Chad. And that looks like a tweed. Um, it's kind of, it's different, yeah. I don't know. I'm going to do some research on this, folks, and, and give you all some information. But that material, yeah, I don't know what that is. It's pretty cool, though. Um, back seats, pretty decent amount of space in the back. Not bad. I mean, yeah, you're not going to get Shaquille O'Neal back there, but um, but that's, that's plenty of room. And... Uh, Check out those seats, that looks cool. The, the headrest really just goes really high up, almost to the top of the roof, about six inches away, and then rolls right on down. Very, de it's definitely different. Um, really cool, I like it. Anything else, Ted, you think, that's kind of... No, Chad, I mean, it's, yeah? uh, it's their entry level vehicle, but it serves my purpose. Right. I can get, like I said, on the charge, I get about 80 miles, and I gotta back up with a generator to give me another 70, in case I don't, uh, Time it just right. Mm -hmm. So far, it's got 6,400 miles on it, and I've spent a dollar and 47 cents in gas. A <laughs> dollar 47 cents, and it's got 6,400 miles. That's it. Now the back is hatchback, correct? Okay. Yeah. So this is a hatchback, and you just. Uh, let me see. I think Ted, it's uh, when you hit it right there. It's maybe it's got to be unlocked. But look at the tail lights. That looks cool. I mean, pretty much. That's neat, I love how the tail light is set up right there. It's just kind of all built into the back hatch. Opens up, pretty decent amount of cargo space. You can fold down the back seats, it looks yep. like. So if you need to get a big set of golf clubs in or whatever, you can do that. And uh, plenty of enough room for groceries and stuff like that in the grocery store. And I apologize, I didn't know you were coming. I <laughs> it's all good. Back here and everything. <laughs> Yeah, it's cool, but I mean, he uses this just to get back and forth and go around town. So, not this for you. This is not a traveling car heading no. up to West Virginia or anything like that. No, my wife owns a uh, 16 BMW Mini Cooper Clubman, and that's what we used to travel. Cool. This awesome. is strictly back and forth to work. I've got the uh, F-150 I still use for hunting, fishing, and boating. This yeah. Is just transportation. Transportation. There you have it, folks. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Charleston Car Videos, your number one source for pre-owned car videos.